In this last section, we want to talk about how we can work towards a sustainable society. A sustainable society will provide the same amount of goods and services for future generations while preserving biodiversity. Future generations are going to need clean air, water, enough food, and enough space. This is not possible unless we carefully regulate our consumption of resources today. Sustainability is incompatible with the current levels of consumption and production of waste by the more developed countries. In other words, it's un environmentally unstable for the people in, in more developed countries to eat as much meat as they do. Um, we mainly use non-renewable resources like fossil fuels, which lead to climate change, acid deposition, and smog. This is going to result in a weakened ecosystem. A natural ecosystem can offer clues on how to make societies, uh, today's society sustainable. So for example, um, the natural ecosystem only uses solar energy, which is renewable. Materials cycle through various populations and then back to the producer once again. A natural ecosystem um, can help give us ways for how to um, incorporate these principles into a sustainable society. In rural areas, we need to preserve both terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. There are several ways to help make rural, rural, rural areas more sustainable. Things like cover crops, a mixture of legumes and grasses to help stabilize the soil between rows of crops or between seasonal plantings of crops. Things like multi-use farming, planting a variety of crops that can replenish the, so the nutrients in the soil through composting. Um, also using low flow or trickle irrigation and retention ponds can help um, reduce the need to uh, deplete our groundwater. Ways to make rural areas, um, so there's, uh, so other ways to make rural areas sustainable would include cultivars, plants that have undergone selective breeding for desirable traits, things like resistance to insect damage, salt drought, and weeds. Precision farming reduces habitat destruction and helps improve crop yields as well. Integrated pest management. Um, this is competitive beneficial insects. Um, uh, Biological controls, planting a variety of species, can all help um, maintain uh, pest control without the use of organic pesticides. Uh, we could also plant multi-purpose trees that provide numerous, numerous products and perform a variety of functions, um, including serving as windbreakers to help prevent soil erosion. Um, they can also be used to help maintain and restore wetlands, use renewable forms of energy, support local farmers to reduce the environmental impact of transporting goods. So there are a lot of ways that rural areas can be made more sustainable. Ways to help make the urban areas more sustainable um, would be design of energy efficient transport systems, uh, heat buildings using solar or geothermal energy, cool them with an air conditioning system that uses seawater. Uh, green roofs, um, a garden of grasses, herbs, and vegetables on tops of buildings. Um, improve storm water management by using storm drain sedimentation traps, artificial wetlands, and holding ponds. In walking paths, parking lots, roads, replace the concrete and asphalt with porous surfaces that reflect less heat and allow rainwater to, rainwater to seep. Um, replace grass with native plants that attract bees and butterflies and require less water and fewer fertilizers. Green belts plant paths for walking, bicycling, um, revitalize old sections of a city rather than developing new sections. Use lighting fixtures that send light downward to reduce light pollution. Uh, control noise levels, encourage recycling, lose, use mo low maintenance building materials rather than wood. Um, so there are a lot of different ways that we can help support um, a greener urban society. Here is a green roof, um, just an example of a green roof that's being used to uh, plant vegetables and crops. The index of sustainable, the gross national product, GNP, is a measure of the flow of money from consumers to businesses in the form of goods and services produced, or services purchased. The total costs of all manufacturing, production, and services. Those costs include things like salaries, wages, mortgage, rent, interest loans, taxes, and profit. Whether an, an activity is environmentally or socially harmful isn't included in the calculation of a GNP.
Our quality of life is much better revealed by measures that include non-economic indicators, things like the Index of Sustainable Economic Welfare. This includes real per capita income, distributional equity, resort, natural resource depletion, environmental damage, and the value of unpaid labor. This is going. Uh, this uh, measure helps us determine whether companies um, are are giving us a more sustainable product and are um, using more sustainable practices. Uh, the genuine progress indicator is another measure that is uh, used to help attempt to con it attempts to consider the quality of life that is being produced by a particular company or source. You should be able to describe some of the characteristics of today's society that make it unsustainable, discuss what changes are needed to convert today's society into one that is sustainable. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time on that last slide where we talk about um, assessing economic well-being and the quality of life, uh, but you should know and be aware of the fact that there are different measures, um, ones that just look at um, the financial well-being of companies and corporations, but there are other factors that can be brought into consideration when you're looking at different um, different companies and corporations. All right, please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. That is going to be it for this semester.